Okay, hi guys, it's Vera. We are here at MP, right? Yes. <laughs> we are here at, I'll let you tell them. Hello, my name's Mackenzie. Um, I own MP Aesthetics, which um, is just my little home-based business. Um, I'm a licensed esthetician who specializes in lash extensions and custom skincare. Yes, so we are here today. I'm getting uh, my second facial, and I think we're doing a chemical peel today. I'm not really sure, but she'll explain all of that. And I'm really excited. This is what we're looking like right now. Can you see? So now we are on uh, facial number two, and I'm excited to take you guys with me. First cleanser. This is a vitamin C cleanser. So it's a creamy cleanser, it doesn't foam up or anything, but it's really good at breaking down any type of oil, dirt, anything like that. I always do a double cleanse. Um, the first cleanse really just gets it, um, yeah. gets um, any surface oils or dirt off um, in makeup if you're wearing any makeup. And then the second cleanse is really where you can actually like clean, clean the skin because nothing's on your skin. Okay. Now which kind of, which cleanser is this again? This is um, a vitamin C cleanser by Glymed. Okay. It's great for like the winter months, especially because most of us really struggle with dry skin. It's super hydrating, but it's also a great cleanser if you have like really sensitive skin. Um, it's just gentle, very, very gentle. This is like my go-to cleanser in the winter because my skin is dry. All right, and our second cleanser, this is a glycolic based cleanser. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna get like the first layer of dead skin off of your face mm -hmm. um, so that our products later can work better. So you may feel a slight tingle with this. So that just means it's doing its job. This is a foamy cleanser, so this is one that's gonna be more of your, like your treatment cleanser. Mm -hmm. um, that's actually gonna treat your skin instead of just like cleaning it, basically. making up your little cocktail this is not this is like the pre-treatment to the chemical peel so um, I have like an oxygen deep pore cleanser this is great um, just for at home use it, I use it as a mask and it's great to help remove blackheads um, or soften the blackheads for easier removal and this is oxygen treatment cream this is an amazing moisturizer but mixed together it's kind of like a little gentle exfoliant okay. um, so what I do as I mix these together. I'm and so I excited, guys. <laughs> I have lots of blackheads, so this makes oh, me so happy. It's gonna be so good. Okay. I believe I used this on you last time. Maybe not with the treatment cream, but this is kind of the one that kind of like fizzes up. I almost said suds and oh, fizzes yeah, I remember. at the same time. <laughs> So yes, I was like, this. oh, is my skin turning like white? No. <laughs> so this is the one that will kind of fizz up. It's kind of like those like really popular bubble masks right now. I don't know if you've used any of those. Mm -hmm. But they have these um, bubble masks that you put stuff on your skin and then like your face turns to like foam, oh. like straight up foam. It's kind of crazy looking. But especially when the steam starts to hit it, you'll notice that... Um, it starts to sud, so you can already see there's some bubble action going on around here. Um, the bubbles just mean that the oxygen is doing its job. So the oxygen is getting into your skin. It's oxygen oxygenating your cells, which is what we want. So this whole entire um, chemical peel process is all full of oxygen. So these are both mm. oxygen products. The peel itself is an oxygen product. So your skin is just gonna basically like have life, like breathe back into it. Okay. 
which I think right now we all need. Especially in the winter, our skin tends to get like dull and dry and it's just not, it's not the same as it is any other time. foamy the longest mm -hmm. um, is where your skin needs the most oxygen okay um, so you'll notice like around your lip and like some spots around your mouth like aren't that foamy anymore mm -hmm. that's just because those may not need as much Okay. Yeah. so how often um, how often do you recommend someone get this type of uh, treatment um, so with chemical peels, they range. There are some that are very, very superficial, like the one we're doing today. This is a very superficial, um, very like beginner level peel. Mm -hmm. Um, those you can do every, I like to say like every like eight to 10 weeks, depending on your skin. Okay. Um, I wouldn't do them more often than that because you can really like compromise your skin barrier and it can lead to a ton of problems. Mm -hmm. Um, but about every eight to 10 weeks is good for like a superficial chemical peel if you really want to change your skin. Um, there's medium depth peels, which us estheticians in Missouri can perform. Mm -hmm. um, those I say once a year. That's because oh. those go like very deep in your skin and those are the ones that will actually make you like peel peel. Mm -hmm. So that's like the steak skin shedding peel. Mm -hmm. Whereas ones like this, you may notice like some flaking, some slight peeling, but nothing intense. This is one that you can go back to your normal life tomorrow. Mm -hmm. It could be totally on. fine. Yeah. Okay. So that's, I mean, you may feel a little more dry. You may see the peeling. So like your makeup may catch to those areas, but you can go about your normal life. No problem. Mm -hmm. Um, the medium depth peels you want to do once a year because they do go deeper. Mm -hmm. um, some people can get away with twice a year, but most people's skin, I say once a year. Um, and that's like one and done. It completely sheds your face. That's where you'll really see the most difference. Mm -hmm. um, but that's like down the line in a chemical peel series once mm -hmm. we're really starting to change everything. Okay. So yeah, about once a year for those, but about every eight to ten weeks for superficial comments. So with the with the um, the ones with like the glycolic acid mm -hmm. or the salicylic acid, are those considered superficial ones too? Um, it's not so much about what kind of acids are in them. It's more so about how they're formulated. Okay. So um, like I have um, peels that are the medium depth one that mm -hmm. include those, okay. but the way they're formulated, formulated, they're just stronger. Okay. But I also have superficial peels that are um, salicylic, lactic, and glycolic acid mm -hmm. that don't go as deep just because of their molecular size. Um, mm -hmm. They just don't go as deep as what like a medium depth peel would be. So the medium depth are just more, they're formulated to be stronger so that they can reach those deeper levels of your skin. Okay, so how many, um, how many like superficial peels might someone get before they do um, a mid one? Um, I typically do about two to three, okay. um, sometimes four, depending on the skin. It's all about every person's skin. So no mm -hmm. two skin is alike. Mm -hmm. um, someone may have really, really, really sensitized skin, which I would be very cautious to even do a chemical peel on. Mm -hmm. Or uh, people have really resilient skin where their skin is thicker um, mm -hmm. and they can handle a lot more. So that would be like, I could do two superficials and then do a medium depth um, mm -hmm. on them. But typically I say around three to four before getting a medium depth peel. Mm -hmm. um, but that's just mainly so like your skin can get used to it. And I can see as your esthetician, like what your skin is reacting like, because if it's not reacting properly and mm -hmm. you're getting like a lot of irritation, you're getting a lot of redness, burning. I mean like anything along those lines, mm -hmm. I wouldn't want to continue with a medium depth because your skin probably would like flip out. Okay. So it just, it's like a, a person to person basis, honestly, okay. but typically around three to four is pretty common. Baby, yeah, it's getting to me. It's never ending. You can give anything.
um, a lactic pretreatment solution. This is just going to like really dry out any oils that are on your skin. Mm -hmm. um, it's just going to prep your skin for the peel, essentially. Okay. Oh, this wasn't the peel? Nope. <laughs> that was the first step. <laughs> We're not to the peel yet. Oh. There's a, there's a process. It's levels to it, There is, yes. <laughs> okay, okay. So you may feel a tingle with this. Um, it might just feel kind of like alcohol. I don't know if you've ever put like alcohol in your face. Uh, um, I know, like I used to back when I was a teenager because I thought yeah, that was like, you know, like, yeah, oh my gosh, I've acne, like dry it all mm -hmm. out with alcohol. So or that's kind of like, yeah, oh, yeah, oh gosh, the toothpaste. <laughs> so you may feel a tingle. It basically, it's just going to dry everything out okay. so that the peel can do its job. You feel any sensation? Mm -mm. Okay. I'm just chilling. Good. Sometimes it can really, people can be like, oh yeah, no, I feel that tingling like immediately. And sometimes mm -hmm. they're like, nah, we're good. You have pretty thick skin. I do. So I don't like, you may not even feel a ton with this chemical peel since it is superficial. Mm -hmm. Um, You may not feel a bunch of like, you know, heat or tingling. Okay. It depends person to person. Some people say it's, you know, intense. Others are like, yeah, I don't feel a thing. Um, I was going to ask you what, okay, so after this, like dealing with the dryness, mm -hmm. what do you recommend using for the dry, for like dryness? Um, while you're recovering from the chemical peel or just in general, like for yeah, skincare? Recovering. Um, so you want to use super hydrating ingredients. Um, it's going to depend on like what you're currently using I can go with through that with you and like be like okay use this don't use that okay. um but anything that's super super hydrating you don't want to use any actives which means like any sort of like alcohols or um like don't put alcohol on your face but like like we said some people do that <laughs> right. um alcohols or um anything with like glycolic acid in it and witch hazel um lactic acid salicylic acid any of the acne washes just don't do that um I say a week um, you want to do it for a week just so that you're really hydrating your skin. Um, once your skin feels kind of like back to normal, you can resume, mm -hmm. um, which could be around day three or day four, but just to be on the safe side, especially with your first one, I say seven days. Okay. Um, but we can touch base too. If you feel like you're feeling normal, we can go back and you can okay. let me know. Okay. Um, but yeah, so about then, but just super hydrating ingredients. Um, and again, yeah, I can let you know. Okay, let me see. Super foamy. This is the peel. Hold on, let me get it. Oh, okay. Ooh. So it's this hot is like pure oxygen. Oh wow! <laughs> so very foamy. Um, this is going to sit on your face for about ten minutes. Um, you may feel tingling, anything like that. But if you feel any, like if something's uncomfortable or mm -hmm. you're just like, get this off my face, let mm -hmm. me know. Okay. Um, but again, you have pretty thick skin, so I really don't. Now, how can you think. tell if a person's skin is, like, thick or... Um, it's in... Try to explain it. Like, you can tell kind of, like, by the texture almost. Mm -hmm. Um, just how it looks and how it feels. So, since I have, like, I, I've had my hands on your skin, I know, mm -hmm. like, what it feels like. You have mm -hmm. pretty thick skin. And commonly, you'll see people with thicker skin, um, mm -hmm. tend to be, like, you're more oily, mm -hmm. um... Sometimes even more acneic clients. Mm -hmm. um, that's just pretty typical. Um, but people could also be completely normal skinned and have thick skin. It just kind of depends person, you know, person mm -hmm. to person. Are you feeling any sort of tingling? Not really. No? Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. So I noticed kind of like some like chunkiness in this. This is actually powder that is, um, it's an oxygen powder, of course, because that's what we're doing. Um, but it's some, it just doesn't break down completely and that's okay. Okay. All right, I'm going to let y'all come in and see this. Yes. Don't look at like my neck roll. <laughs> <laughs> right? I know. Right. My crown is the worst angle.
look at all this crap she got out. I can't see. Is it focused? Yep, right there. Okay. Those are all blackheads. Oh my god. That is so gross. Things that were in her pores. <laughs> no, guys, look at that huge one. This is sick. This is really sick. I'm sorry. I got to show you. Yeah. Um, I must be too close. Guys, this is everything that she got out of my face, and I'm I'm embarrassed and disgusted. You know what? It's okay. like look at this. Now that I've lost two pounds, right? My kids. Um, there's different. Like this is a massage uh, cream made for facial massage. Mm -hmm. Um, it just has a mix of different like moisturizers in it. Mm -hmm. Um, but a lot of people just use normal um, like. Um, Rose hip oil, almond oil. Mm -hmm. um, just don't ever use coconut oil. It's I, bad for your yeah. skin. <laughs> um, anything that has just a really good slip to it. It doesn't. It doesn't really have any benefits to the skin. Like mm -hmm. it's. There's a bunch of different moisturizers in it, but honestly, it's more for just like the good slip that it has. Mm -hmm. But after we just kind of like pick at your face and torture you a little bit. The massage helps calm down any inflammation. And it's also good at um, releasing toxins from your body. Mm -hmm. um, so if you've ever heard of like lymphatic drainage, mm -hmm. um, that's basically what a facial massage will do is release the lymph. Where do people like store like the lymph um, like near their face or um, the thing or? It's basically all, like, so you have lymph fluid throughout your body that constantly flows. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like, when you're sick and you, like, the doctors feel for your lymph nodes down here. Mm -hmm. So that can, like, those get blocked up, mm -hmm. um, which is how you know, like, your lymph system isn't working properly. So, like, when you are sick, when you do have a cold um, or anything like that or, like, throat issues, mm -hmm. um, it just means that it's blocked up. Mm -hmm. So we constantly have lymph draining through our system. Mm -hmm. um, and there's points all throughout your body. You have multiple lymph nodes. Mm -hmm. um, there's there's some in your face, but the biggest ones are down in your neck, which is why mm -hmm. people feel down here like when you are sick and things like that. Mm -hmm. So we just promote moving it in that direction. And there's more advanced facial um, massage techniques that um, certain people will like learn that can really help with that and mm -hmm. that's their specialty. Mm -hmm. um, I just do a pretty basic one but there's things such as like I don't know if you've heard of like gua sha. Mm -hmm. It's like a stone that you like rub across your face like this. Oh wow. Um, that's a more I think that's like a Chinese technique mm. I believe. Um, and that's really good for lymph drainage. And that's something you can do at home too. There's techniques that you can do at home if you want to like work on your lymph um, drainage in your face. Mm -hmm. It can help relieve puffiness. Um, if you feel like you're just like holding ex excess water in your face, mm -hmm. um, you feel kind of bloated. Mm -hmm. um, Washers are great. I uh, same girl, same. <laughs> you know, lots of quarantine snacks this year. <laughs> I'm not ashamed of it. <laughs> Um, Lots of yeah. emotional eating. Yes, yep. Mm -hmm. I'm with you on that one. It's not the ending. You can give anything. So you can go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Yeah. So I can focus. I just need to focus on myself. Oh, you better go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Experiment mask. This actually has kaolin clay in it, mm -hmm. which is um, fantastic for um, oil, bacteria, anything like that. So I'm gonna put this mainly in 
the areas where you do have that congestion congestion Kaylin um, basically pulls out any impurities um, excess oil um, but it's in a like really creamy base mm -hmm. that helps it so it's not like one of those drying mud masks mm -hmm. where like you can't move because yeah. you're like what the heck mm -hmm. yeah I used to do that Benonite clay mask. Oh, yeah. The apple cider vinegar. Yeah. <laughs> I did, too. <laughs> I am very guilty of that. Yeah. So, like, do you think that those are okay to do for people at home? Or? Um, I, knowing what I know now, mm -hmm. I don't like the idea of putting apple cider vinegar on someone's face. Okay. Um, mainly just because... It's, it's too acidic for the skin. Okay. Um, now mixed with the clay, it's a little better, but I just think it's too harsh of a mask to do mm -hmm. all the time. Um, there's better ones out there. Okay. Um, a clay mask is really good. Like not like the Benonite clay, but like, um, one that has like kaolin or, um, oh, there's another one. I can't think of it off the top of my head. Um, but those are great. Um, Sulfur masks are good for anyone who's struggling with acne. Um, What's a sulfur mask? So sulfur, it smells like rotten eggs. It's okay. not the best smell in the world. <laughs> but sulfur is really good with people who can't use things like salicylic acid or okay. um, benzoyl peroxide, um, anything like that. It's, a na it's like just a natural, I think it's a mineral. I could be wrong. Mm -hmm. um, that's just found in the earth, mm -hmm. um, and it's really good at helping kill bacteria. Where do you get the mask from? Is that something you have to get, like, from an esthetician? Or? Um, I think you, there may be some on the market with it. I have them here. Okay. Uh, well, I have to order them, but, um, yeah, I, I retail one that mm -hmm. works really well. Um, I use it on myself, honestly, right now with my mask knee <laughs> all the time. <laughs> um, and that's a good one. It's, it's just really beneficial okay. to help clean any of that bacteria out that may be sitting on your face. Okay. So yeah, the, the mask has, has salicylic acid, um, tea tree oil, kale and clay. Um, That's yes. the one that you retail? Yes. Okay. So where do people go to purchase it from you? Do they just... Like um, Instagram or yeah, you, you can message me on Instagram. I do have an online store, but I like to make sure that you're getting something that's right for you. Like I said, like earlier, you don't just want to walk in somewhere and like pick things off a shelf. You want to make sure that it's going to be right for your skin. Mm -hmm. Um, and so I do just free skin consultations. If you are looking to like move your skincare in a more professional direction, um, you don't have to live close. We can do it through Instagram, Facebook. I'll send you my number. I don't care. Um, but then I do have like an online store where you can go and purchase everything. And that is linked in my Instagram bio. It's through Glymed, um, professional line. I use them in all my facials, a mix of Glymed and skin script. Um, great lines, more professional and they're good. Like, I mean, for masks, you don't, if you are regularly coming to see an esthetician or you're regularly doing skin treatments, like, you know, a dermatologist or something like that mm -hmm. masks aren't necessary oh. it's more so like a self-care type thing yeah you know, like that's if you're really feeling it, it. <laughs> yeah it's more of a self-care thing mm -hmm. um masks can only do so much now like professional masks will do more than like what you can go pick up anywhere else mm -hmm. um but they're still not needed i mean honestly if you're if you are investing in Professional grade or medical grade skincare, that's mm -hmm. going to be where the magic happens. Okay. Your mask isn't going to do all that much. Okay. So if you're going to like invest in something that is on the higher end or it's coming from um, a skincare specialist or anything, I would go for skincare versus we're a mask that you wash off. Anything that's going to leave, stay on your face okay. is what you want to invest your money in. So like cleansers, you can go a little more cheap with but like your your serums your moisturizer uh, any sort of treatment product is really where you want to invest your money because personal um collection but my favorite are oh well, actually i do have uh, this one this is the ultra hydrating enzyme mask this right here okay. is my best friend it is bright green 
Okay. Maybe. I, I think this is brand new. Is that some of the one you put on me? No. Oh. So this is like like witch green. Oh. Like it's like green green. Um, but this is full of enzymes, but it's also hydrating. So this is exfoliating as well as nourishing. This is my best friend. I use this like once or twice a week. Mm -hmm. um, it just like, it, it has amazing things in it, like botanicals that are really good for like cellular renewal, um, mm -hmm. antioxidants. Um, it's just, this is my best friend. Okay. <laughs> I use this all the time. Um, and there's another one, um, I think it's called Anti-Aging Mask by Glymed. Mm -hmm. That one kind of has like exfoliant beads in it. Okay. That is really nice, um, but it's a mask as well. So you kind of leave it, like you rub it into your skin, you leave it on. And then you like kind of massage, wash it off. Um, that one has licorice. Um, I think it has a blend of glycolic, lactic, and salicylic acid in it. So it's really, um, really good at cellular renewal. That one's more like anti-aging, mm -hmm. but it could be good for acne as well since it does have those actives in it. Mm -hmm. um, if you do want a mask that is gonna help with like killing bacteria um, or you are struggling with acne, that sulfur mask is bomb it's the bomb.com or um this one is the um serious action mask this one has salicylic tea tree kaolin this is the more of the one that's really gonna help with oily skin um mm -hmm. but it also helps with like acne as well mm -hmm. um so there's a, there's one for everyone honestly <laughs> <laughs> there really is so i just like to use kind of like a cocktail um of different things um and i'll go through them so this is a hydrating cbd i'm throwing things uh -oh. cbd mist <laughs> so cbd is great go ahead and close your eyes for me um cbd is great at helping every skin condition that you can possibly imagine mm -hmm. um it's great for inflammation acne aging i mean anything you're struggling with cbd in skincare is the answer um, this is also CBD booster, so this is like pure CBD in liquid form, basically. Oh, wow. Um, only takes a few drops, but this is like gold in a bottle. I mean, it, it literally is the color gold, but it's amazing for, I mean, just anything that you're struggling with, I swear, like, it's it's meant to help with that. Does it help with white velocity? I mean, I really wish it did. <laughs> I mean, it'll help, like, lose all, you know, all the impactions in your skin. That's a couple pounds, right? I mean, I don't mind those. Um, and then we're going to go with Living Cell Clarifier. Okay. This is an antioxidant cock... Ooh. Sorry. That squirted all over the place. Yeah. Antioxidant cocktail. Okay. Um, so, like, vitamin C would work. This works oh, okay. the same. Some people are sensitive to vitamin C. Mm -hmm. um, so, I tend to not recommend it unless... Mm -hmm you know your skin can handle it. Mm -hmm. Vitamin C can be really irritating. It's a great ingredient, but some people just can't handle it. So this has, um, what is it called? Beer berry, um, seaweed, licorice, um, apple, like all of like really good antioxidant mm -hmm. natural ingredients in it. Um, and this just helps protect against um, UVA, UVB rays, um, pollution, um, any type of thing that's in the air that's trying to attack your skin, this is what it's gonna protect your skin. And I'm using the Ultra Hydro Gel. This is pure hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is amazing for moisture. Hyaluronic acid can hold up to a thousand times its weight in water. Mm -hmm. So one tiny little molecule can hold up to a thousand, time, a thousand times its weight. Um, so it's really good, especially in the drier months at really like pulling moisture into your skin mm -hmm. um, and it just helps your skin look more lively mm -hmm. feel more hydrated it doesn't feel as dehydrated um things of that sort and then this is the comfort cream with aloe i like to use these after peels um it's just a really good comforting cream um, moisturizer it has aloe in it aloe is very you know calming um there are other moisturizers on the market but this is just one i like to use for right after a peel it just really helps soothe the skin if there is any irritation it'll help handle that aloe is really good for your skin um it can be really great for acne as well um it's just really calming now did any do are those for those protect from sun too or that 
Do we do something else with it? So you do need sunscreen on top of that. Yes. Okay. Yes, you do. Yeah, I recommend sunscreen daily. Um, even if you're not like going to be outside much, sunscreen is still a good thing to have. Okay. So this one, I am not the biggest fan of this one for darker skin. Mm. It has kind of a white cast um, mm. because it is just like it's zinc, titanium dioxide, um, which aren't the greatest. It mm. kind of can leave a white cast. It does settle in after a while. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, I love this sunscreen because it's really good. Mm -hmm. But for darker skin tones, there's better. Mm -hmm. There's better ones out there. Um, even ones that you can find at the drugstore. Mm -hmm. um, it's just It just takes a while to rub in. I've been wanting to try that one from Target. Um, it's literally called like sunscreen for black girls or something. Oh, okay. Have you heard never, of no, it? I haven't. I'll have to show you. A yeah, picture. it's really popular. Okay, but we just talked about like <laughs> stuff being popular. Right. But, so um, I feel like sunscreen is something that I'm more willing to like be lenient on mm -hmm. because it's not something that's really formulated much different. I mm -hmm. guess. Um, I'll have to show you. Yeah. Because I feel like there are, you know, like that's a big thing that's like m lacking, I guess, in the mm -hmm. professional skincare industry mm -hmm. is sunscreens that cater to all skin tones. Mm -hmm. um, because while I do, I'm a big fan of mineral skin sunscreen. Okay guys, so I know the video cut off because I ran out of battery, but basically what Mackenzie was saying was when you're looking for a sunscreen, it's best to avoid the ones that have the active ingredients that start with an O. Um, one of them was like oxybenzone. And actually when I was looking up things to share with you guys, it did say that this one was linked to endocrine disruption and um, other things. But always do your research on your own. It's okay to take what I say or what anyone else says as like a baseline and go from there and always do your own research before you make your own final decision but basically she was saying the ones that have the o the o letter like the ones that start with an o those active ingredients in sunscreen they absorb the uva and the uvb rays whereas the other ones actually reflect it and we talked about our melanated beauties and how we struggle with having that white cast on our sunscreen and uh, I was telling her that I wanted to try the one Onye so shout out to Onye be sure to follow her pieces of Onye but she told me about the black girl or sunscreen for black girls it's located at Target I will be sure to link it down below but that one is really good for I'm just gonna say anybody because it doesn't leave that cast and it has different um, active ingredients in it and I have not got it myself because every time I try to go it's out and I just didn't order it online yet so uh, that being said I'm currently using this one here this is the CeraVe sunscreen it's 30 SPF it's the skin renewing day cream so it has encapsulated retinol in it it does have octinoxate in it so this may be one of the ones where it absorbs the rays but until i get one to my liking i'm just going to stick with it because it has the retinol in it i like cerave products and i've already purchased it so i'm going to use this in the meantime until i can get the sunscreen for black girls um, I hope you guys enjoyed my video and just coming with me to get a chemical peel. Um, I really enjoyed it. I feel like my skin is improving a lot. I will post some pictures and clips here for you guys to kind of see what things are looking like. And I'm just proud of how far my skin has come in this journey so far. Be sure to take a look at the other videos in my journey to clear skin series. I hope you find them helpful and I hope you have a good day. And don't forget before you go to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I post other videos. All right, see you later. Bye.